afternoon, KHS, and shout out to all you in superhero outfits. You look great. And remember that tomorrow on Friday is Red, White, and Blue Day to celebrate our pep rally. So today I have Blake with me. Are you ready to start the announcements? Yep. <laughs> all right, um, seniors, if you have not ordered your cap and gown uh, unit yet, you need to do soon as possible. Or need to do so as soon as possible. You can place your order at www.johnstons.com or call at 1-800-Johnstons. Cabin gown deliveries will be starting soon, so make sure you get yours ordered so it will be available for scheduled delivery. Starting in February, you will be asked to notify your parent via text in the lunch line if you owe money on your account. This will need to be done each time you receive lunch but don't have money. Alright, our first uh, quiz bowl meet is Saturday, February 4th at Van Wert. National Honor Society applications will be passed out this week to eligible juniors and seniors. The Kenton Elementary is selling uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts with logos designed by the elementary students. Order forms are available in the high school office. Orders are due by February 9th. Students that attend athletic events are reminded that they must show their passes to be admitted into any athletic event. Passes such as student athletic passes, WBL passes, and gold silver cards must be shown at the front ticket table upon entry. Students are also reminded they are not permitted to use other students' passes for entry. Students are asked to enter the school through the front doors only, and students trying to enter through the back or side doors will be asked to walk around. This week we've had ACT uh, prep Tuesdays through Thursday and from after school until 4 and next week we'll have ACT prep Monday through Thursday from after school until 4 o'clock. That's pretty lit. Blake Slaringen here, uh, KNN reporting outside the school. Uh, I'm here with Steven Stalder, the leader of uh, Disc Golf Club. And uh, Steven, what is this, uh, Disc Golf? Disc Golf is a game where you have these Frisbees, what do you call them, disc, and they're slightly different than a main regular Frisbee, Blake. And I think everybody's seen it, it's like a big chain basket. And the goal is just like regular golf, to get it in that basket and as many throws, fewest throws as possible. Um, how many members do you have in your disc golf club? Quite a few, Blake. We got the founders, me, Connor, Mason, Chase, Trent, and then we got a lot of popular new members such as Dale Oates, Ethan, Clint, Cole. It's just a ton of people. Can't even list them all. Uh, where does your group meet? They've installed a disc golf course at Wharton Park here in town, and we go there a lot. We'll travel to Bell Fountain, and O and U to their courses often, Upper Sandusky. Even went to Columbus one time. Uh, do you play anyone in the other disc golf clubs? No, but we just usually play ourselves, but we hosted a tournament this summer with our members, and we're hoping this summer we can expand on that and have some more tournaments for the area. If uh, someone would like to join, how would they uh, do that? You could just ask one of our members. That you can just say, when are you guys playing? And you can just come out and play around with us, and we can loan you some disc to get started. From there, you can see if you like it and keep going. If someone would like to um, keep up with the disc golf, uh, where could they you know, uh, do that at or keep up to date with that? We have a Twitter. It's the Chain Don't Break Disc Golf Club Twitter, at CDBDGC. And that all the news you'll ever need is there. All right. For KN News, I'm Blake Swearingen. See you later. This is an amazing follow up interview with uh, Kane Don't Break. We got a Case Kaiser over here. How you doing? How you doing, Blake? And we got a Steven Shoulder looking at muscles. <laughs> can rip off an elephant's head. Uh, but, <laughs> so we sold that. You, you got hats now. Can you tell me about like the hats before we go on? Like, Where did you make these hats? Pretty good. Well, we didn't make them. Bought them off a guy named Chris Rogers. <laughs> oh, that sounds. Where does he live? Don't don't give us the address, but give us the area. 
by Colt Buckingroth. Oh, so after the boondock. I guess so. Stephen, when is your first meeting? First well, trip? it's always pretty random when we go out, and I'm on the DL with my foot, but <laughs> if you always check the Chain Don't Break Disc Golf Twitter, we'll tweet when we'll be out there playing. Where is, where are you usually at when the, you go for it? The Kenton Disc Golf Course, which is at C.E. Warden Park. Describe in one sentence the reason you would want to go play disc golf with you guys. That's pretty lit. And thank you for joining us for Thursday's announcements and have a great day, KHS.